Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is the Just Our Imagination Challenge. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sleepy Oliver. And if you're returning, you know we love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use my Waverly Antique Wax. I'm going to use some of these craft sticks from Walmart. They're the giant wooden craft sticks. And then I'm going to use four of these five gallon paint stir sticks. I get these off of Amazon, but you can get them at like Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, these are the craft wood pieces. They're 18 inches from Dollar Tree. I use seven of them. And then this gift bag from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna start off by removing the hangers and then I'm going to cut the picture out. And when I cut it, I am cutting just on the other side of the seam because I wanted to make sure I had a little bit extra. After I had that cut out, I took my wood strips here and I'm using some wood glue along the edge. I'm, not, I'm trying not to put a ton of it. I just want enough to give it some extra support. After I had all of them connected with the wood glue I then take I don't remember what I do okay I take my uh, giant craft sticks here and I'm adding the wood glue and the hot glue and I am layering them like you see because they're not long enough to fit all the way across so I did some higher and some lower that way all of those um, sticks were covered after that I turned it around and I took my paint stir sticks and I am measuring them I'm just kind of marking where I'm going to cut them and then I tape them together uh, the ones that had the same size <laughs> and then I took them out to my miter saw and cut them down now if you don't have a miter saw you could always use like the little miter box you can get those at like um uh Harbor Freight tools or places like that and they're usually about $12. So once I was all done I cut off the plaid part of that bag from the top and cut it in half and then I'm using my Fabri-Tac glue to attach that um, back to the top and then I attached it and went over the wording on the bottom of my bag. After that I'm taking my Mod Podge and going all around this wood sign. Now this wood really soaks it in and I was worried that I poured in too much but now I needed I had to keep pouring in more because it was just soaking it up and I wanted to make sure I had a good thick layer so that that bag would really adhere well then once I was done I went ahead and laid that bag down on it and then I just went ahead and took my uh, paint stir sticks that were cut down and I'm using wood glue and hot glue here and then I'm going to go all the way around my picture with these st uh, paint sticks to frame out my little bag here after that I went ahead and took more Mod Podge this time I put out way too much Mod Podge and I was having to use my brush to uh remove it and put it back in my uh, bottle there <laughs> but after I had it all done and uh, all done brushed up and put away um, I let it dry and then I'm taking my antique wax and I'm brushing it on and using a paper towel to wipe off the excess and I'm going to go all the way around the front doing this as well as the back and then I did want to make sure that I got the insides of the frame and I didn't care if I got it on the bag because I wanted to use some of the wax on this bag anyways, um, just to help dull down the shininess that you get from these bags. And when I did that, I didn't really like it that much on the um, snowman itself. So I wiped it off, but I really liked the way it looked on the rest of the stuff. So I have these cedar picks. I got them on Amazon. They are in my Amazon store if you're interested. Um, and I'm just going to hot glue them along the left top corner I made a bow doing the awareness ribbon scrunching it up tying some jute twine in the middle and then I will dovetail the ends and then I'm going to hot glue that um, right at where those uh, uh, cedar picks meet and then I decided to put some cedar picks on the bottom too and I'm going to add some of these frosted berries that I got from Hobby Lobby 
It was a big bag of them. And after that, I am going to take some of these beads. This is a beaded garland I got from Walmart. I, they have these garlands every, at Christmas time. I love getting them. They're great. These were beautiful, so I couldn't wait to use them. I took some jute twine. I think I have like 14 or 16 beads. I always try and do even numbers. I strung them on some jute twine, tied knots on the ends, and um, stapled it in. I should have tied knots after I stapled it in. But anyways, <laughs> then I took some of this snow tech. I got it from um, Hobby Lobby. Krista at Krista's Crafty Life uses this all the time and I wanted to try it and I'm just going over those cedar picks and then I decide to go ahead and add some of it to the trees too to just give it a little more lifelike look and I did do the top part of the cedar picks as well and that's all there was for this I think it came out looking so stinking adorable oh yeah <laughs> have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below Okay, today is Just Our Imagination Challenge, and it is hosted every month by myself, as well as my best friend, Kathy Jo, with Kathy Jo's DIYs. And this month's guest host is May with Craft Away with May. And last month, she made this beautiful snow globe. We were so impressed with it that we wanted to showcase it here and let you all know to make sure if you haven't seen that video from last month, I'll have it linked in my description box so that you can go and look at it and check it out. So make sure you check that out and make sure if you haven't already subscribed to me she's an awesome crafter and then make sure you check out the playlist as well and links to all kathy joe the playlist and may will be in my description box or yeah description box <laughs> here's diy number two so i'm going to use three tumbling tower blocks i'm going to use this eight inch and this 10 inch chunky slat from uh dollar tree this really cute napkin that kathy joe had sent me i'm going to use some uh waverly chalk paint in the color ink and this parakeet by apple barrel i'm also going to use my waverly chalk paints in the color crimson and white i'm going to use these uh, snowman cutouts i got these from amazon it came came with two sets i thought they were so cute and i wanted to try them out and then of course this snowflake from dollar tree so I'm gonna start off by painting everything white. Everything, it took me forever, or at least it felt like it. <laughs> when I was done, I took my Mod Podge here and I'm just going over the middle of my snowflake and then I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. While it was drying, I took some of these little um, bamboo sticks that I have in my Amazon store. I got these like two years ago and I'm still working on them. But I decided I wanted to frame this napkin so I am just cutting these out to fit around that napkin and I am um, making the ends, uh, what do you call it? Mitering the ends? I don't know, making them at an angle. <laughs> After that, I removed the backing from that napkin. I'm gonna place it right where that Mod Podge is, place some parchment paper over it and go over that with my heat press. That way it reactivates that Mod Podge and allows that napkin to stick to it. After that, I'm just gonna cover the top part of my napkin with that Mod Podge just to help protect it. Once I was done with that, I took my little sticks here that I had cut out and I painted them all with my crimson. And then I'm gonna hot glue them all the way around my uh, napkin here to make it look like a cute little picture frame. I just love this, it's so cute. Oh, anyways, <laughs> I love snowman. I don't know if I love snowman or gingerbread men more. I love them all. <laughs> then I took uh, my snowman and I started painting them and coloring them. I'm coloring the hat of the dad uh black and i did front and back the hat on the mom i did with the red and i left the little ball at the end white and i did the front and back of that one as well and it was kind of hard for me to tell exactly where the lines were on this so i had to pull up the pictures of them on Amazon to just kind of get an idea how they were painted and where the lines were but i took the little kids snowman and I painted the hat with the peacock pea, uh, parakeet 
green. Now I am trying to kind of duplicate the colors that are on that napkin. So it's kind of like, you know, this is the family and they're standing in front of a snowflake with their family picture, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you can call me weird. I just thought it was kind of a fun idea. So I used a black Sharpie here to kind of outline where I wanted to uh, color in his scarf, the dad's. And then I'm using that parakeet green and making some lines because on the napkin, he's got pretty light color green and red stripes on his scarf. And so I'm just going to paint the next spots with my crimson. And then on the, the little child, I painted a red scarf and on the mom I'm going to do a green scarf and I do decorate these the the little child I added some white snowflakes this one I used um, a fluorescent green paint marker and made like some holly leaves and added some berries and then here on all of them I'm making their faces doing some dots for eyes and mouths and with a orange sharpie I'm making their carrot nose and then I colored the, the mittens on the little kid black. And then after I was all done, I gave them all some buttons here. And then I went ahead and took some of this folk art extreme gl silver glitter acrylic paint. And I'm just dabbing it all around the edge of that snowflake. I felt like there was too much white and it needed some more detail. And then I took some my um, embossing tool and dabbed little dots all around it. After that, I measured where the um, middle part was and I'm marking it so I know where to put my glue. And then I'm gonna use some wood glue and hot glue to attach the eight inch chunky slat to the back of the 10 inch. Then I'm gonna put some more wood glue and hot glue on the top of that eight inch a slat. And then I'm going to add my snowflake to the top. And then I'm using a tumbling tower block. I'm going to hot glue it to the back of the dad. Now I wish I would have moved him over just a little bit more because he's kind of covering the little child on this napkin. Thought I had it in the right spot, but apparently it wasn't. And I added the tumbling tower box on the back of the, the mom and the child and then added them to the front of my little sign here. Now I thought about maybe putting some kind of words on this, but I thought, no, not everything has to have words. So I'm just going to hot glue these on. And then after that, I'm going to take some red ribbon that I had. Well, no, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I took some more of that silvery glittery acrylic paint and I'm dabbing it around the snowman as well. I just felt like they needed a little bit more color, not just so much white. Now I'm taking that red ribbon. This came off of some DIY that I had and it was sitting here. So I thought, oh, perfect. I'll just use this. I felt like that base needed a little more color. So I'm just going to hot glue it all around that base front and sides. And there it is. Isn't that just adorable? It's the little snowman family with their family portrait. <laughs> I love it. You have to let me know uh, if you love it too. <laughs> See how I made his hat, tried to make it look like popcorn and berries, like on the napkin. <laughs> okay, so I always like to take this moment to thank all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. And if you're new here and enjoy today's video, I would invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. And then these are ways that you can help support me and my channel. It's greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my social media accounts in the description box below. Okay, here's DIY number three. Now this DIY has all of our must use items. So our must use items was a glass jar of any type, some plastic or some kind of bottle or caps, and then these flexible cutting boards. So I was sitting there thinking, thinking, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna make? And uh, it took me a while and I finally came up with something. <laughs> So what I did is I took a glass candlestick. Now I got this from a garage sale, but you could definitely use the ones from Dollar Tree or any kind of candlesticks that you have. And then I'm just cleaning that in my glass jar with some alcohol. Then I had got this last year from Woodpecker's Craft. It's a snowman and I am going to trace it out along on that um, cutting mat. And then after I had it all traced out, I went and cut it out. Then I'm using my heat gun to soften it. 
So if you do this, just don't melt it. And then I wanted it soft so it would um, be a little more flexible so it would bend easier. And then I am using some um, double-sided tape on the back of this. And then I'm going to tape it right in front of my jar. And then after that, what do I do? I took it outside and I painted it with my frosted glass by Rust-Oleum. Now you guys, I wish I would have used something else like white or black because it's really hard to see. And I, sh I, I should have known because I've done this before and I, yeah, anyways. So <laughs> I'm taking my Fix-All glue and hot glue and gluing that little cap bottle cap onto the jar lid. And then I'm going to go and spray paint those with my flat black. Once everything was dry, I removed my little cutout here as well as the tape that was all stuck to my jar. I took all that tape off and painted this little cutout. Now I also cut out a second one of these and I'm painting it white. And I think I went over it twice. Um, and then once they were dry, I painted the, the hats with my black paint marker. And then of course I'm gonna give them some eyes and a mouth or yeah mouths dots for mouths um and then a carrot nose and what do I do after that you guys I just edited this uh, like within the last hour and I don't even remember um after I had this all done I'm going to take my fix all glue and put it all around my the top of my candlestick and then I'm going to add it to the bottom part of my jar and then I put something heavy on it and let it sit overnight. The next day I came in and I'm gluing my little snowman one on each of those ridges of the candlestick and I just put a little dab on the top to because it was tall enough to hit my glass. Now it's really hard to see that cutout. I mean you can see it. It's kind of hard to see it. That's why I was saying I should have painted it white or black, um, but you know, it is what it is. So I added my snow, uh, some fake snow in here, and then I'm gonna add a little tea light candle. And then I'm gonna take the lid here. I'm gonna take some of that ribbon um, that I used on the previous one, and I'm just gonna go around and hot glue it to the top there to make it kind of look like the snowman's hat. And after I had that all done, I am going to add some of these little holly leaves to the top hat of each of the snowmen and then it gave them both a little bow tie and I added a little tie up our bow up at the lid and there it is. I think it came out really cute. It would have been cuter if I painted that white instead of that frosted glass, but it's still cute. So <laughs> you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, so the next DIYs, you guys, these were on a video that I had for the 12 days of Christmas earlier today. So I'm just going to give you a very short version of it. If you want to see a more detailed version, I'll have a link to that video in my description box so you can go and watch a little more of that in full. So these are the colors of my chalk paste that I'm going to be using. Uh, there was bright white, black velvet, uh, forest cherry and I do end up using rust as well um, I'm using this this is November's uh, club couture um, exclusive transfer and it comes with this cute chocobo um, or at least it, I'm sure it comes that way for everybody but anyways I'm also going to use the something from this set called tiered tray Christmas and then this tag sign. So I removed all that paper from that tag sign and I painted the front and the back with my ink color. Then I'm going to take my transfer since this is the first time I'm using it and I'm going to fuzz it. If you are not familiar with Chalk Couture, it is a, an adhesive silk screen stencil and we fuzz it the first time we use it. So that way when we pull it up, it doesn't pull up the paint that we had on our surface. Once I had that on my tag sign, I'm taking my bright white chalk paste and I'm going all around this sign. And then I will wash it when I'm done and reuse it. Um, if you have never tried Chalk Couture and if you've always thought about it, this would be a great month to check out our Club Couture. It's $21.99 a month. You get this exclusive transfer that's only there for Chalk Couture club members and you get three coordinating chalk paste 
um, that come with it. And I just think this stencil is so beautiful. Um, you do get a new transfer every month. And um, again, you can't order it because it's only for those that are part of Club Couture. And then you do, if you do sign up, you do have to sign up for at least three months before you can cancel. But I always think it's a great way to get started or try it out. And then if you, you know, don't want to continue after three months, you can always cancel. But I, I love it. It's been one of my favorite things to use. So as you can see, I am just going around and using my uh, black velvet, my cherry, my forest. I'm going around and painting. I painted the, or chalked I don't know what she's pasted I don't know <laughs> the bird and the um and using cherry around for the ribbon here as when I once I got down to you know after the neck area I did I pulled that up so that way um if the, when the chalk paste starts drying if you don't pull it up if you're too slow it will dry onto the silk screen when you pull it up and then you won't have a great image <laughs> so that's why I pulled up halfway after I cleaned my uh, transfer because you always want to clean it right away I'm just using hot glue to add that chalk bowl in front and then I just added some embellishments and there it is I love how this turned out I think it is so so beautiful so if you're interested in chalk couture i am a designer i have a link to my page in the description box or you can always email me if you have any questions i'm always happy to answer your questions okay here's diy and number five very quickly again this is another one from earlier today i am going to start off by taking a ruler from dollar tree one of these wood rulers and i'm removing the sticker parts from the top I laid it on my wood round that's from Dollar Tree. I am marking off where I'm going to paint and I paint the top part of that wood round with ink and as well as the ruler and then the rest of that wood round with my white. Then I made a stencil with my Cricut. I laid it down onto my wood round and I am just gonna cover the eyes, the mouth and the tie with my ink color, which is black and then the nose with my pumpkin, which is orange. Then I'm gonna remove this stencil and I'm going to add that um, ruler for the top of his hat. And then I'm gonna add some embellishments, add a hanger and that's all there was for this one. It's super easy, but I think it is adorable. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And final reveal of all of these is coming right up. So again, make sure you check out Kathy Joe's channel. If you haven't already, she is amazing and she's my best friend too. Make sure you check out May's channel as well as her video from last month if you haven't seen it yet. And then make sure you check out that playlist as well. You, you will get all kinds of information or <laughs> inspiration and you'll be able to see what everybody has done with those must used items. They were kind of a challenge. <laughs> and with all that being said, you guys, I will be back again tomorrow will be day six, I believe of the 12 days of Christmas. We're halfway done and I am so glad because I'm getting tired. <laughs> so with all that, you guys, I really hope you have a blessed week and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.